the bubbling there is a bit of the ice. And you can also see just how fluid this lava is. And when lava is this fluid in nature, when it comes to the edge of a mountainside and goes over that edge, the wind can get a chance to catch it. You get these lovely features called Pele's hairs. So these are Pele's hairs. They're super thin strands of lava, and they cool very quickly in the air to form these lovely glassy threads. And geologists absolutely love finding these. So they're actually quite hard to come by in nature. Because they're so fragile, they tend to get broken apart very easily and get blown away by the wind. So that's why the geologists love them. Farmers here in Iceland, on the other hand, are not quite so keen on these because those glassy fibers, they get into the grass that the animals eat. That messes up their stomachs. So that's why in Icelandic, they've actually got a different name. They're called Nornahau in Icelandic. And that means witches' hairs. Alright, so, a big block of ice down here. Do you want to see what happens when we stick ice on the lava? Yes. yes, of course you do. <laughs> Stupid question. Dance, lava monkey, dance. <laughs> right. See what we get here. So, let's drop this on here. And, uh, apply a little bit of pressure. And you'll see fairly quickly what starts to happen. So some of the steam's escaping up the way. But some is getting pushed into the lava. And because the surface of the lava now is beginning to cool down, the steam is finding it harder to get out as that lava solidifies. So we start getting these nice bubbles that are pushing up through the surface. Let's hold that there for a little while. And you can see as well on, on the surface where the ice has been cooling down the lava and it's changing colour, it's turning all black and shiny there. You see, we've actually got a nice crust already starting to form on the top of that. But although it is forming a crust on the surface, underneath that crust is still very molten, so I can get underneath it here like this. And that's the correct reaction, well done. <laughs> this is an all size, so you all can see it. And one more for the people in the cheap seats. So you see, lava is actually a tremendously good insulator of heat. It doesn't actually transfer heat very well through stuff at all. So once it does form a crust like that on the surface, the material under that is kept really molten for a long, long time. I'll show you a nice little visual in the heat here. 